Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we helped restore the town of Arnian. And in this in this episode, we are going to continue on with some of the side quests and possibly start one of the post-game dungeons. So the first one. Uh what do I have to talk? Talk to Tom near the Oh, you're Tom. Like uh, Ted. Oh, Ted, Ted, Ted. I was like, Tom? Who's Tom? Hey, it's Yuri. Wait there, would ya? And off he goes. Look at little Carol. <laughs> what the heck? Yuri, I've been waiting for you and Flynn to show up. Us? Yep, wanted to give you this. Hmm, that's quite the item. You can't find anything like that in a store. How'd you. How'd something like that end up in the lower quarter? This sword belonged to a famous mercenary who visited us in the lower quarter a long time ago. He only came through here by chance, but he ended up liking it so much that he stayed for a long time. Actually, it would be better to say he lived here. He came to think of, we came to think of him as one of our, one of us. That's the first time I've heard anything about someone like that. It makes sense that you wouldn't know about him. He left the capital and went on his way a long time before you were even born. Where did the mercenary go after he left? I don't know. A bunch of knights and guild members came to ask if he left his sword behind. But we're never able to find it. What do you mean? How could a mercenary go off without his sword? But then, just a while back, when we were cleaning up the city after things in the capital got crazy, the sword turned up! How could that be? Maybe it was a gift to the people in the lower quarter in return for your hospitality. Then why didn't he just give it to it themselves? He probably planned on coming back and getting it someday. If that's the case, we shouldn't be taking it with us, right? The mercenary always said that swords should be used to protect people. I don't think he'd mind if I left the sword... If I left the sword of our lower quarter boys who are working to protect the world. A weapon chooses its owners, not the other way around. It might not just be random chance that the sword turned up now, after all those years. He's the sword, Yuri. You'd be doing us all a favor. Alright, hold on. I'll hold on onto it for you. Thank you. Don't forget to split it with Flynn. Yeah, alright. I guess we should take it with take it in shifts like we used to. I'll let you hold on to it for a while first, Yuri. Works for me. That sword holds everyone hopes and dreams, doesn't it? Yeah. It's heavier than it looks. Climb Soleus. Where's that? Oh, that's a... That's a Milim's, um... Uh, weapon. I forgot the name, but it's Climb Soleus, if I'm not mistaken. The Divine Sword restored after several decades. The one willing to fight to protect his people is its true owner. Ooh. Yuri earned the Hope of the Town title. Flynn earned the Hope of the Town title. Okay. <laughs> Are those outfits? I am a sucker for outfits. Nope. They are not. But that is fine. All right. Nope. Home sweet home. Everyone in the lower quarter is so kind. It makes me miss my hometown a little. Judy, isn't your hometown? Yes. It's gone. Hometowns, hmm? I lived in Ospio, so I can't say I feel too nostalgic about this place. Oh. Yeah. Same with me and Dongrest. I... I miss the castle every now and then. Aww. Well, you did spend quite a lot of time there, Lady Estelise. I'm always hit with a wave of nostalgia when I return to the lower quarter. 
Yeah, I know that feeling. Where's your hometown, Raven? Me? Mm. Dongrest, I guess. Huh? But you weren't born in Dongrest, were you? Well, if our journey ended now, I'd head back to Dongrest. So I guess it's my hometown. Mm. Maybe our hometown is just the place we'd most like to go back to if we had the choice. Yeah. That's true. Please tell me Yuri didn't equip the... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Because I'm trying to learn abilities with them. So I can have a lot of abilities with them. All right, next up. Uh, we're going to Jumanju. Which, if you guys don't know, it's the hot springs all the way up here. On our way to the hot springs. Hopefully this is the final time. This is kind of tedious and it wasted a lot of my money in gold. Even though money and gold are the same thing. Oh, rare metal, rare metal. Give me that. I saw another one here. And I saw a flock of seagulls too. What? Only one? Come on, don't be cheap. And the flock of seagulls. And now let's go to Jumanji. Nothing else. Nothing else at the moment. All right, let's go in. All right, we are going to equip um their their Jumanju thingies. Their Jumanju outfits. Yes. No, wasn't this? Uh, what was it? No, not this. I completely forgot what the... Was it Fashionista? Yeah, it was Fashionista. Mm, Aloha Boy? No, it wasn't Aloha Boy. It was Tank Top Lover. Asian Pooch? No. Oh, what? That looks sick. No. Not slow delivery dog. I don't remember what the one for. Uh, towel fanatic. Uh, I don't even remember what like. I wasn't head turner. Festival fan, I think it was. And which one was Flynn? Short sleeve prince. Yeah, I think these were it. I don't remember what repeat this was. I have no idea. If the scene starts, I did it right. If not, then I screwed up. Nope. All right. Uh, So I know it's the Enchanting Beauty, Massage Therapist, Fashionista, Tank Top Lover. Which one was repeats then? It was not Patient Pooch? Was it this one? No. Mm. Hot Spring Titles. Okay, let me... Uh, okay, let me see. Hmm. 
All right, massage therapist, doll fanatic, fashionista. Oh, Raven. How did I just skip him? What? How did I? How did I skip him? Spa manager. And it is apparently patient pooch. What? Oh, this should be it. Oh, come on, what am I missing? There we go. Okay, those were all. Ah, so nice to see you again. And wearing your uniforms, I see. We're all so fond of them. All I got is this stupid towel. I wasn't crazy about the loincloth I've got on, but I'm starting to get used to it. Besides, boy, if your clothes on your back, the faster you can jump into the bath. That's a pretty nice perk. So, will you be visiting our hot springs today? Your free pass entitles you to any of our services, even your own reserved bath, if you like. We've come all the way out here. Why not? Alright then. Us girls will go in first again, okay? How about we all just go in together? I mean, what's the big deal? Yuri, but, 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 but that means... The baths are pretty big. We could go to separate ends of the area and it'd be like we had our own baths. Ain't no big deal. Isn't that right, Raven? You're uh, right, Yuri. I mean, I don't really mind either way, of course. Something's fishy about this. No, I trust Yuri. I don't think we need to worry. Yes, let's just stop fretting about it and I'll go in together. Right, go on in. Enjoy your visit. But I might recommend waiting until after sunset and going in then. I assure you, the nighttime atmosphere is not to be missed. Ah, good idea. Let's go do that. What do you have planned, Yuri? Whew, finally some time to relax. You st we still got a lot of big problems ahead of us, but I guess we can forget about them for now. Right, save your worries for later. When you're so busy, it's easy to forget just... to just slow down and relax. Oh, you ladies are here too. You were so quiet, I had no idea. What do you mean? You mean you would have come over to spy on us if you had known? Huh? Why would I go all the way over there to see a bunch of flat-chested little girls? <laughs> what did you say, you perverted old troll? Get your butt over here right now or it's fireball time. Why don't you come over to the men's side? I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Like, I'd want to see your wrinkly old geezer bits. Why, I oughta... What? Bring it on, old man. If you don't... If you two don't settle down, the water's going to get cold. What? You all haven't changed yet? The girls are all out of their bath... All out of the bath and done changing. No, you're not. The girls are done, eh? All of us have finished changing, too. Then why don't... Then we don't need to be talking through a partition, do we? Right. We're already out. Yachoo! I better get inside before Captain Carol the Lone Towel catches the cold. Why are you the only one still in a towel? They're not naked, okay? <sighs> that was a nice change of pace. How long are you going to stay dressed like that? I was in a hurry when I got out of the bath this morning. Oh, you're still in your bath uniforms. Yeah, but this is no formal attire compared to what you're wearing. Just stop staring at me like that. It's making me nervous. Come on, just let, let's just go. Deep massage. All right, who's up for a little massage? No. Massage? Estelle, why are you dressed like a masseuse anyway? You don't... 
You don't actually like that outfit, do you? I do. I never saw any clothing like this in the castle. I love it. Oh my well, lord. It looks quite nice on you. My favorite part is this visor. Yeah. All right, Carol, time for some deep massage. Uh, hold on now. A princess and a masseuse. A deadly mixture indeed. Maybe I should get my lab coat. Oh god. Please stop. No. <laughs> All right, time to change everyone back into what they had. Um, you were... I have no idea what I had you as. I'm going to fetch you as that. You were the seeker. Yuri was. Mmm, hope of the town. I'm gonna just put you hope of the town. That looks so good on repeat, though. Not even gonna lie. Top dog. You were a warehouse master. You were. Mmm, shading star. You're a great pirate successor. No, you weren't. You were Pirate Queen. And you were Hope of the Town as well. There we go. All done. Now let's get out of here. All right. Our next destination. Oh. I'm like just gliding. All right. Our next destination. Shall be at Pharaoh's Crag. Because we're going back into the past. Here we go. And up we go into the portal. <sighs> Into the past we go! Oh, that is true. Don't let repeat slip a pie in there. What do you have to offer? Oh yeah, that's right. You don't offer anything. At night. Mm. I'm not sure she's like. Gotten some of the things. This she has it so. Hmm. I guess this one. I should just like, you know, go buy swords and everything, but everyone should have their things. Uh, vitality. That is crucial. So many, I like, swords and all that. So many weapons, it's insane. It's actually really insane that there's so many. I'm like slowly but surely running out of like money. I learned that. Give me a plus one. And she has this equip. She's learning this.
Gotta make sure that the things that I want or need are either purchased or I have learned them. Because this, see, we have this at least, so we don't have to worry about that. We have that. And the things like this, they, we don't have that. And we do need dispersion. So it's good that you come back and like see these things and like get them if needed. Because there's going to be a lot of things that you haven't been able to get. See, like Athenor. These are all stuff that I need. One world. But most of these things I've already gotten. But slowly but surely, I will get like the materials. So I don't rush it. And you shouldn't too. You shouldn't either. It's the correct way phrasing I'm looking for, I believe. Oh, so I don't have these. Turn right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think he's still learning because he still has that equipped. So none of that at the moment. We're all good in this department. Oh, I do not have a Rochi. Let's get that. Oh, Warrior's Principle. I thought I had it. I guess not. And last but not least, Patty. I don't have this. Interesting. A lot of these I thought I had, but it's like, nah, you don't have it. All right. See, at least with all these, we should honestly already get all the best armor. Because everybody is getting strong. I mean, most of these like already have like, I already have most of them. I already have most of like the best stuff even equipped ah here we go whoops this is what i was looking for one general's armor Clarus guard is already gotten that's what empress dressed Heart suit, I have not got an epic runes code is there. That's fine. Air fragment. Oh pretty sure most of these I'll find it in the next dungeons. I don't know why I like when I get into that mood, I just like completely waste time and I greatly, greatly, greatly apologize. Okay, I need to speak to the sage. What is the sage going to give me? Oh, hot springs are nice. Oh my god. We really worked our butts off in there. I can't believe how much Estelle got into character. You're one to talk, Rita. You are loving it. <laughs> Checking yourself out in the mirror over and over again. Oh? You know you like that outfit. Shut up. I don't know what you're talking about. You're kind of cute when you're embarrassed. Ha! <laughs> uh. It felt nice to relax in the outdoor baths after working up a nice sweat doing hard work. I love this kind of lifestyle. It's so fun that we can all relax together in a nice outdoor hot spring. Good. Y yes, outdoor springs are nice. Nice? Ah, <sighs> nice. 
in the ice indeed all right let's go in and check what's in the ice in here hey mr sage who are you travelers perhaps wait but you and we already met hmm? looks like you've forgotten you didn't forget it's more like we're back in the past now yes the town's bustling with people now too what what are you whispering about over there perhaps you would like to hear an interesting story no please I don't have time to listen to any epic sagas, Gramps. No, it'll be quite short, I assure you. All right, then. Lay it on us. Well, a while ago, I was putting my library in order, you see. Can you go straight to the point? And then, out of the stacks of books. <sighs> and this time, a little mouse came out. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. He's been talking for two hours now. <clears throat> uh, perhaps you could get to the point of the story. What do you mean? This part is very important and interesting too. Come on. To the good stuff. Oh, all right. So ultimately, I found a certain book in the stacks. In this book, the following was written. Deep beneath a steep and winding mountain range, on the sixth continent of Yurzoria, slumbers a man who transcends time. When the maiden of beauty sets out on a journey, she will come down to the fourth dimension, keeping watch over a fiery youth. Receiving the love of heaven, she will descend into a human body and will revolt against the heavens. Eh? Pretty interesting, don't you think? Is it? What mysterious proclamations? It's very interesting indeed. <clears throat> Would you like to read more? I can give it to you if you'd like. You don't mind? <clears throat> no, not at all. I've already memorized the whole book anyway. Thank you very much. You sure do like books, Estelle. Legend of Dark Blue Warrior. A biography of a man who stood up against the heavens. It came from another world. <sighs> oh, here we go. This is or the, 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 the uh, last dungeon. Um, the uh, extra dungeons. I don't know what they're called here. The the post game dungeons, probably. I don't know. That's for one of them, I believe. So now we are going to head towards that. Lucky for you guys, I already know where it is. I think. If I can follow directions. All right, so. I, I hate how the ship is so far and I'm like, get confused. All right. Nope. Up we go. There we go. Should be somewhere near here, right? Is a mountainous range. No? Hmm. Where would it be? Oh, it could be this, right? No, it can't be this, right? No. Because this is... No, this is... This near Pharaoh's Craig. This was this. Where... What would it be? It says when you're at the right place, you'll see a scene. But what scene? Am I the wrong place? Hmm. I 
I have no idea. Well, at least it's daytime now. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, well, I'm going to search for it anyway. I'll meet you guys when I find it. So I was skipping a part. Uh, I just noticed that I skipped a very important part. It said visit Dongress for a scene. Uh, whoops. That was completely my bad. I was like, where is this scene that I need to trigger? I'm like, oh. What the heck? Oh, what was that? I think it came from the west. That seemed a little different from an earthquake. Yes, it felt like there may have been a landslide. That'd be one doozy of a landslide. Let's go have a look. Oh, this is why. It, oh my God. I'm like flying all around. I'm like, wait, like it's supposed to trigger a scene, right? Where, where is the specific part that I need to trigger? All right to the west. Where's Jumanju? Right. Where now though? Oh, I think I saw something. I feel like the landslide, the, the landscape here is a little strange. Yes, wasn't this area supposed to be a mountain range? It seems that the rumble we heard back in Donkris came from here. You say an entire mountain collapsed here? That's a pretty big cave in. Deep beneath the steep and windy mountain range on the sixth continent near Zaria slumbers a man who transcends time. Huh? Wasn't that what, what was written in the book you got back in Jormgen? Yes. Hmm. Might have something to do with this. Let's go down and have a look. Okay. Oh, I see something over there. I see something. This was all a mountain before, right? Yeah, this was a mountain. What the heck? That's insane. See? That is new. And we're going to use a holy bottle. Because we are going to end this episode here. And in the next one. We're going to go into the portal. And start one of the post-game dungeons. I don't know how many there are, but I hope there are quite a few. So in the next one, we are hopefully going to tackle this completely. So if you guys hope you guys have been enjoying these videos, if you have, please leave a like, comment and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video when we tackle the post-game dungeon. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.